Rapid Application Tourniquet, or RATS for short, is a wrapping style tourniquet. So I'm gonna go through the steps on how to secure the RATS tourniquet. You'll notice that on the RATS tourniquet, there's a locking clasp. There are a series of horizontal slots as well as slots that are about a 45 degree angle. The horizontal slots typically are used in a training mode, whereas the 45 degree angle slots are for real life application. You'll also notice that there is a loop on the RATS tourniquet and it is accompanied with a sticker at the bottom that says stop. This is to ensure that the user does not pull the running end of the RATS tourniquet through the locking clasp. The way that we actually use this loop is the running end of the RATS tourniquet will go through the loop to create a larger bite or a larger loop. So I'm going to demonstrate how this is performed and how this is used. If I was to place this on my arm, I would put the running end through the loop, put my extremity through the large opening, and simply work to take the slack out. At this point, I need to start to wrap the tourniquet. However, if I start to wrap the wrong way, you can notice that the rat's tourniquet just starts to slide. This should be a strong reminder that I need to go back, pull tension back on itself, back onto the tourniquet, and begin my wrap. As I start to wrap, I'm pulling the rat's tourniquet tight, and I'm trying to get the cord touching itself and roughly making a two inch wide wrap. At the time that I get to the end of the running end of the tourniquet, I'm gonna put that into the locking clasp, as you can see. For training purposes, the tourniquet through the horizontal slot. In real life application, I would bring this all the way into the 45 degree angle slot. At this point, again, I would want to visually inspect to see that the, and ensure that the bleeding has stopped, as well as checking for that radial pulse. Upon noting that there is no radial pulse, and if time permits, I'm going to try and either mark on myself or on the casualty the time that the tourniquet was placed. This will help first responders as well as the other medical professionals in the hospital determine how long the tourniquet was on for.